Being very entitled and controlling, narcissists have no difficulty stepping all over your personal boundaries, so that's why I put together an extensive video class called This Is Me. It has 25 videos, written documents, guided questions. I'm gonna teach you how to have healthy boundaries. There's a link below, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. I want to step into a discussion today regarding the whole world of the covert narcissist, and I want you to see exactly how skilled these individuals are at putting up a wall of defense, which is all built upon pretense. These are uh, the covert narcissists, true to the definition of narcissism, have a very high need for control. They want to have admiration because they feel very entitled. They want to keep the upper hand. In other words, they like to stay superior over other individuals. They're quite willing to exploit people. They have low levels of empathy, but part of the covert package is they tend to be excellent pretenders. They try to uh, make themselves out to be somebody much more trustworthy than they actually prove to be in the long run. Uh, Self-absorption is always there on the inside. They just don't want you to see it up front. Now, it's important for you to realize that these individuals are very broken individuals who are desperately trying to project a together image. These people have uh, self-esteem problems. They, they have a, a hidden insecurity. They don't want anybody to see, but it's in there and it's, it's working. It's um, it's magic, if you will, in a backwards kind of way. They're inclined towards lots of passive aggressive behaviors and attitudes. And when I say lots, I mean lots. They hold other individuals in disdain. And yet, strangely, at the same time, they want those that they hold in disdain to have admiration for them. In other words, they want them to defer to who they are. These are people who are not inclined towards meaningful insight. Perhaps they can intellectualize for a while about psychological truths, etc. But uh, in, in the in the end, they don't change, which is the, the ultimate goal of insight. Would it not be? They don't grow, and their their entire approach toward relationships is is frankly one big effort in gaslighting. They want you to stay confused about your understanding of things so that they can fill you with them and their way of doing things. That's how they operate. And, and so when we say covert, what we mean is there's a game of pretense that they maintain so that you don't really see exactly what their schemes are until you're uh, fairly deep into the relationship with them. Now, that understood, I'm going to go through multiple indicators that says you're dealing with a covert narcissist who is, in fact, playing the let's pretend game. And the more you're able to see these indicators, then the more you realize, okay, this is something I have to watch for, and you cannot allow yourself to, to get in too deep with these individuals. Now, one of the first indicators I'm going to mention here is covert narcissists can be negatively positive. Okay, does that sound like a, uh, a, a, a contradiction? Of course, the answer is yeah. But by that, I mean they can compliment people while at the same time complaining. For example, they may say something like, John did a really good job, which is not something he's done in the past. So here they're saying something nice, but not really. Or it could be that I really like being with this group of people, unlike some of the other folks I've been around. And they can put these qualifiers on there and let you know that there's a negativity that goes along with their positive comments. Eventually, you're going to be on that list, but uh, that's, that's how they tend to do it. They try to disguise their uh, criticisms with uh, a false, uh, seemingly upbeat kind of mindset. Another indicator of their covert, let's pretend game is they can sh seem to show interest in you, but then there's no real follow-up. They, they care about what's happening in your family or in your work or your concerns or health issues or whatever it might be. But then when it really comes time to follow through and show uh, through action that they're on your team, it's like, <laughs> where'd they go? Or uh, another thing that they might do is they may actually uh, do things nice for you, but then you learn over time that that becomes part of their scoreboarding toward you. It's like, well, I have done things nice. And then it may be a year later or five years later or two weeks later. I don't know. 
Uh, it's like, after all the nice things I've done for you, why don't you do things for me? They, they want something in return. And so that, that pleasantness that they have, that helpfulness they have, is part of the pretension game. Another indicator that these are pretenders is that these individuals tend to make lots of excuses for their mistakes. Honest people, in other words, non-pretentious people, say, yeah, if you hang around with me, you're going to find out that I make mistakes. I, I miscalculate sometimes. I do things right, too. And so there can be a sense of that in honesty, but the covert narcissist wants to have this clean, unblemished uh, image. And so whenever they do uh, make mistakes, then they don't want it to be known. Or it could be another uh, spinoff on that is sometimes they may actually make self-deprecating comments about who they are, but in a way of trying to get ahead of the posse, so to speak. It's like, well, if I say, oh yeah, I blew it on that one, then if you say it, it, it doesn't come across that, that hard. And so there, there are ways that they can offset something like that. In addition, part of their pretension game is they can uh, can make exaggerated promises. How many times have you had this person, uh, only to later find out it was all uh, inaccurate, who comes on real strong in a positive kind of way, like, oh, you have never, you're, you're, you have never had a, an ally as strong as me, or one thing you can always count on is, I will always have your back. And so they can come on real strong and it's like, wow, this is really nice, I appreciate that. But then later on, it's like when the, the shine of the relationship is, is uh, worn off, or if you've said or done something that doesn't exactly fit their schemes, it's like all of those nice, exaggerated promises, they, they go flying out the window. In other words, there's a lack of sincerity. In addition, the, these covert narcissists tend to be way too sensitive related to their own public persona. They need to look right. Uh, they want to be with the right individuals. They want to have uh, such a good image that there's there's constantly efforts to uh, minimize whatever uh, uh, criticisms others might have and maximize the positives. And I understand we don't want to just go air our dirty laundry, but the covert narcissist is way too concerned with public image to the point where what you see on the surface isn't necessarily indicative of who they really truly are. Likewise, these individuals can be too thin-skinned if you question them. It's kind of like, hey, look, I put myself out there. Why would you have a question about me? And sometimes it's like you're just wanting them to explain uh, themselves. Uh, you might say something like, hey, how did you come up with that conclusion? And just right there, it's like, so what are you doing? Trying to make my life miserable? Or if you say something like, um, when you had this in your background, how, how did that impact you anyway? And you're trying to get to know them. And so they may think, oh, so you're trying to make me feel guilty, huh? And, and so they, they don't know how to receive any kind of questions that might have a tinge of some sort of negativity. They're going to exaggerate their interpretation of your intentions there. Um, now, in addition to that, we talked about exaggeration. Covert narcissists can sometimes have an exaggerating uh, need to appear pleasing. Uh, they can go overboard in trying to be helpful. I recall one person saying, you know, when uh, when I had COVID, I had this person that was just uh, going to the gr uh, grocery store for me, going to the drugstore for me and dropping things off to the point where it's like, okay, okay, you made your point. That's enough. I mean, it, it was way overboard, but then that's part of that. Now that I've been so nice, what are you going to do for me in reverse? And there's this, uh, this sense that says, I'm going to keep people in my debt. And if sometimes I have to be the nicest person you ever met, that's a, that's a good scheme that I can use. And there's always a hook on the backside. I, by the way, I'm all for being helpful. Let's just do it with, without the, uh, uh, the, the hidden agenda that might be there. Likewise, covert, pretentious narcissists tend to be poor listeners. Uh, they may seemingly be interested in who you are, but inevitably they have a way of either bringing the, uh, the topic back to themselves, to their favorite topics, or they'll just move on to something that they feel more comfortable with. They don't really want to know you at a real full level unless they're gathering facts that they're going to eventually use against you. And then let's uh, let's add a, a, a final one, and that is uh, these are individuals who tend to tell lots of half truths. Uh, give you an example, they may say something like, "John over here has some anger issues." Well, it could be that 
You later talk to John and find out that somebody had promised to do something on a major project and they completely forgot or completely dropped the ball and John had some issues. Well, okay, there may be some validity there, but the, the narcissist can try to make that person look really bad. Or it might be that that narcissist might say something like, well, you know, Sally over here is not very trustworthy. She doesn't follow through on things. You talk to Sally and you find out, well, actually there was a, a severe illness in uh, her family circle and she had to excuse herself for a period of time only to get back to what she was doing. So in other words, they'll tell certain truths that seem on the surface uh, to be accurate, but then behind the scenes, it's like, oh, they're, 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 the, the, those comments were made outside of the context. That's what they do. That's part of the pretender game. So let's keep in mind when you're dealing with covert narcissists, the name of the game for them is let's pretend. They're constantly in search for the favored position and they're constantly in search for your regard for them. And honesty is optional. <laughs> if they have to stretch, that's okay. And then while they give the appearance of being nice at times, ultimately you realize they're not nice people. They can be very judgmental. They can be manipulative. It's, it's uh, good to know what you're dealing with there. And then over time, you find that they can turn on you on a dime, just like they've probably done quite a few other individuals. Now, once you spot this and you think, I got duped, I got played, let me encourage you, don't, don't get too hard on yourself. Keep in mind, they're pretenders and they're good at their game. And so there are times when you'll think uh, they pulled it off for a while. But once you understand what their game is, I'm hoping you can realize uh, that in, in their world, uh, they don't know how to be healthy. So I'm hoping that it causes you to be that much more uh, committed to your own sense of healthiness. And uh, in, in doing so, you can think, you know, for them being pretenders, which means they're dishonest, that's the name of their game. The name of my game is authenticity. When you get to, uh, to be with me, that's what I stand for. And I want to do it in stark contrast to that covert narcissist, let's pretend, dishonesty. Now, I hope this gives you some good awareness of what you might be dealing with. If you've not already done so, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button too. We'll keep more videos coming your direction. There's a notification bell that'll let you know when uh, new ones are coming along. Uh, know that I really appreciate you letting me be on your journey with you. I know at times when you're trying to deal with things like this, you could use the assistance of a therapist. I've been sponsored now for several years by the people at BetterHelp.com. I'm sure you're familiar with that company. They're, they're, uh, ever since the pandemic, the online therapy has become very popular, and people have found that it's uh, it's quite accessible, it's affordable, and it's something that uh, can uh, can bring great results. If there's a need, we have a link below that will take you to the BetterHelp uh, website, and uh, you can click on the link that we have, and you'll, you'll get a 10% discount on the first uh, month. Please get the help that you need. Likewise, I have my therapeutic classes, and these are extensive courses you'd be signing up for. Lots of work that I put in, lots of work in making them. Each, uh, each class has multiple videos with written documents and guided questions meant to help you uh, do some self-discovery. We have Ready, Set, Connect about making good connections. Um, this is me about establishing your boundaries, free to be finding yourself despite the controllers who want otherwise for you. We also have my webinars that I've already presented, but they're still available on our website for purchase. Uh, in addition, we have my podcast. We have that uh, our website with lots of articles, my books, plenty of resources. Okay, let's keep in mind the name of the game of the covert narcissist is Let's Pretend. Knowing that they're uh, pretentious individuals, meaning they can't be authentic, I'm hoping there's uh, the side of you that says somebody in this world needs to step up with a much better alternative. Sign me up for that. And in doing so, I hope that it positions you to be a, a beacon for healthiness and decency. And in the end, it allows you to find your place of peace.